It weighs 33 billion tons, and they're still calling it a comet. We've tracked its arrival from the direction of Sagittarius, watched its coma ignite, followed its course toward the sun, and now toward Mars. It's not just bright, it's precise. And now it's heavy. Using data from Hubble and Webb, astronomers calculated its mass, 33 billion metric tons. That makes it the most massive interstellar visitor we've ever recorded. More than Oumuamua, more than Borisov, and too much, some say, for a comet. Because comets don't usually behave like this. So now we face a question we've asked before, but this time with numbers to back the discomfort. How can something so heavy, so old, so carefully moving, still be called ordinary? For months, 3i Atlas was just another flicker in the dark, a distant point moving too fast, too cleanly, along a retrograde path from beyond the sun's gravity. It was bright, yes, active, yes, but still behaved within the margins of a comet. It lost material, formed a coma, and mostly played by the rules. But now, with new data, those rules have started to bend. Avi Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist who stirred global debate when he proposed Oumuamua might be artificial, released an estimate that shifted the conversation again. Using photometric data, orbital modeling, and mass loss measurements, Loeb's team calculated something we hadn't yet dared to quantify, the mass of 3i Atlas. And what they found was staggering, roughly 33 billion metric tons. It's a number that defies intuition, too large for a typical comet, too massive to feel fragile. We associate that kind of weight with moons, not loosely bound snowballs. And yet, here it is, drifting silently through our system, brighter than expected, heavier than anything we've ever tracked from beyond the stars. The math checks out. Based on Hubble's estimates, the object spans about 5 kilometers, with a density near 0.5 grams per cubic centimeter, typical of porous comets. Combine that with the rate of mass loss, and the result is clear. This thing is heavy, very heavy, heavier than Oumuamua, several times more massive than Borisov, possibly the most massive interstellar object ever detected, and yet strangely quiet. Because objects this large usually leave a mark, they tug on other bodies, they accelerate unexpectedly, they betray themselves. 3i Atlas hasn't. Loeb's team also reported extremely low levels of non-gravitational acceleration, the kind of subtle push caused by solar heat turning ice into gas. It's a signature almost every active comet displays, but here, the signal is faint, almost absent. For something visibly shedding material, that's not normal. It's controlled, too controlled. There are explanations, of course. Maybe the dust grains are larger. Maybe the axis of rotation cancels the thrust. Maybe it's just coincidence. Each possibility is valid, but each depends on the object being just right, just lucky. And when you stack that many maybes on top of each other, something feels off. Then there's the path. 3i Atlas isn't just massive. It's also precise. It's traveling only five degrees off the ecliptic, passing close to Venus, Mars, even Jupiter. Not a chaotic plunge like Oumuamua, not a wild curve like Borisov, but a smooth, calculated glide. That's when the mind begins to wander. If this were a probe, an ancient relic built to drift for eons, this is how it might behave. Massive, to endure. Quiet, to go unnoticed. Stable, because it no longer needs to change direction. Not a spaceship, not a signal, just a presence. That's not a conclusion. It's not even a theory. It's a question, one that now has weight. We don't know what 3i Atlas is, but we know what it isn't, ordinary. Because ordinary comets don't weigh 33 billion tons. They don't move this precisely, and they don't make scientists uneasy. Maybe it's just a comet, rare, ancient, pristine. But even then, it's telling us something, that out there, between the stars, something is drifting toward us. And this time, we were just lucky enough to notice. There's something unsettling about perfection in space. When a comet behaves too well, 
follows its path too precisely, resists the forces that should be bending it, we start to wonder whether we're seeing something natural or something designed. 3i Atlas, by all definitions, is active. It formed a coma. It developed a tail. It brightened as it approached the sun. That's what comets do. But its activity is strange, subtle, almost performative. Normally, comet tails point directly away from the sun, driven by solar radiation and particle flow. But 3i Atlas has been photographed with a tail that curves toward the sun. Something rare, but not impossible. Some scientists attribute this to a phenomenon called a dust trail, made of heavier particles lagging behind in the object's wake. Others say it could be a trick of perspective, but there's no denying that it adds another layer of oddity to an already unusual visitor. Then there's its brightness. When 3i Atlas was first spotted, it was significantly brighter than expected for an object of its size. That led some to believe it was fragmenting, breaking apart, as many comets do. But that didn't happen. Instead, it stabilized. The coma grew, the light curve leveled out, and the object kept moving. Steady, predictable, almost too clean. Its orbit is another puzzle. Unlike Borisov, which came in at a steep angle, or Oumuamua, which tumbled erratically, 3i Atlas is gliding in a near-ecliptic trajectory, just five degrees off the plane of our solar system. That may not sound like much, but for an object from another star system, it's shockingly aligned. Coincidences like this happen, but how often, and why here, why now? As 3i Atlas continues its journey, it's on track to pass close to Mars. Within observational range of several orbiters, including NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, whose high-rise camera is among the most powerful in space. If all goes well, we may get images of 3i Atlas, sharper than anything we've seen, of an interstellar object. But until then, all we have is the behavior. And it doesn't fit comfortably, because behavior, in astronomy, is just another way of saying motion plus time. And when the motion is too clean, and the time too silent, our instincts pull at the edges of what's possible. There's a growing sense among some researchers and many observers that this object is forcing us to look again at our assumptions, not because it screams alien, but because it doesn't scream at all. It just glides, unaffected, unbothered, massive, and mysterious. Even Loeb, who never claimed 3i Atlas was artificial, has pointed out that its behavior opens the door to questions we've been hesitant to ask. What if nature isn't always chaotic? What if some patterns we see in space are deliberate? What if, once in a while, something crosses through our system, not by accident, but by intention? We don't know what intention would look like at this scale. We don't know what technology, millions or billions of years ahead of us, would leave behind. But we do know how gravity works. We know how mass interacts with light. We know what comets usually do. And 3i Atlas is bending those rules without breaking them. Just enough to leave a trace of doubt. Maybe this is nothing. Maybe it's just ice and dust. Ancient, untouched, and traveling across the stars by chance alone. But the way it moves, the silence around it, the weight of it, it doesn't feel like chance. In astronomy, the cruelest irony is that the universe reveals its greatest truths when we're least able to see them. For 3i Atlas, that moment is almost here. On October 30th, it will reach perihelion, the closest point to the sun in its trajectory. For most comets, this is the climax, the moment they flare up, when sunlight tears through their icy crust, vaporizing frozen materials and triggering a spectacular display of gas, dust, and light. But for us, it will be a blackout, because at that precise moment, 3i Atlas will be hidden behind the sun, completely out of view from Earth. No telescope, no observatory, no human eye will be able to track it. The object we've waited years to study, the one stirring scientific debate and existential questions alike, will vanish behind the brightest veil in the sky. This isn't rare, it's just how celestial mechanics work, but in this case, the timing feels almost deliberate, like we're being denied the one moment where the comet, or whatever it is, 
might fully reveal itself. And yet, the story doesn't end in shadow, because just four days later, it passes close to Mars, and Mars is watching. Right now, the red planet is orbited by some of the most advanced observational platforms ever built. Among them is HiRISE, the high-resolution imaging science experiment aboard NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. It's capable of capturing images with resolutions down to 30 centimeters per pixel, a precision unmatched in planetary science. If all goes according to plan, HiRISE will turn its gaze toward 3I Atlas as it sweeps past Mars. Engineers are already simulating trajectories, testing camera timing, recalibrating for brightness. It's a long shot, observationally complex and time sensitive, but it could result in the clearest image of an interstellar object in human history. Not a blurry pixel cluster, not a faint spectral line, but structure, texture, shape, maybe even signs of rotation or fragmentation or something else we didn't expect. It would be the first time we see one of these visitors, not as a mystery, but as a thing, tangible, defined, with edges and form. But there's risk. High-rise wasn't designed to track fast-moving objects at this distance. Any variation in the object's brightness, trajectory, or coma size could throw off the timing. And 3i Atlas is active. Its behavior has surprised us before. If it flares too bright, the sensors could saturate. If it dims too much, we might see nothing at all. And if we miss this chance, there won't be another, because 3i Atlas is not in orbit. It's on a hyperbolic escape path, moving faster than any natural object tied to the sun. Once it slingshots past the inner planets, it will head out beyond the gas giants, beyond Pluto, beyond the heliopause, back into the dark. And once it's gone, it won't come back, not in a thousand years, not ever. That's the nature of interstellar visitors. They don't return. They don't linger. They drift in silently, then slip back into the void. And unless we're watching at exactly the right moment, they leave more questions than answers. That's what makes this window so fragile, so important, because we don't just want to see 3 Eye Atlas. We want to understand it, to catch it before it vanishes, to prove with detail and data what kind of object this truly is. And maybe more importantly, what it isn't. Because the moment it disappears behind the sun, the story shifts from what we know to what we missed. And when it finally fades into interstellar space, we'll be left with one last trace. Not in the sky, but in the silence it leaves behind. Soon, it'll be gone. Three Eye Atlas will vanish into the solar glare, slingshot past Mars, and drift outward into the slow freeze of deep space where no signals reach and no telescopes follow. Its coma will fade, its brightness will drop, its silence will deepen, and eventually we'll stop looking because there will be nothing left to see. That's how it ends for most interstellar objects. They come, they pass, they disappear, but this one feels different because unlike Oumuamua, it didn't tumble, it didn't wobble or spin out of control. And unlike Borisov, it didn't behave like the chaotic, fragile comets we know. 3 I Atlas came in steady, bright, aligned, and above all, massive. 33 billion tons, too heavy to ignore, too quiet to explain. And now, as it leaves us, it does so without ever really telling us what it was. Just a trail of data, just enough to keep us uneasy. Maybe it was just ice and dust, a frozen relic from some dead star, wandering the dark for millions of years. That's the simplest answer, and maybe the truth. But if that's the case, why does it feel like we missed something? Why does its motion seem so intentional? Why does its silence say more than its light? Science doesn't fear mysteries. It thrives on them. But there's something about 3 Eye Atlas that makes you feel like it was never meant to be fully understood. And maybe that's the point. Because if we could understand everything that enters our sky, Maybe space wouldn't feel so infinite, so unknowable, so alive. Whatever this object is, we're the lucky generation that got to see it, to witness its brief visit, to wonder, openly, fearfully, honestly, what else might be out there. So, before it fades completely, pause, look again, and ask yourself 
what it means that we almost didn't notice it at all. If this question lingers in you, like it lingers in us, don't let it vanish. Subscribe to The Cosmic Unknown, like this video, and stay close, because out there, in the silence between stars, something is always moving, and it won't always wait for us to look.